Okay, so we're given that the probability density function is c times sine of x on this interval, and we are asked to find the probability that x takes a value between pi over 4 and 3 pi over 4. So, let's recall some of the things that we need to know for to solve the problem, right? So, for first thing we need to remember is that for a for a given interval j let's do different color for a given interval j the integral sorry the integral over j of p of x equals 1. Okay? So, what this is basically saying is that For a given interval j, the integral, the integral over j of p of x equals 1. So what this is saying is that if x is defined over some domain, right, so x takes all the values between this, between in, in this interval, then the probability of x taking some value in this interval is certain, right? So x is for sure going to have a value in this interval. Therefore, this the area under that curve is 1. That means it's certain, right? And remember, probabilities go between 0 and 1. So well, 1 being certain and 0 being never, right? Okay. So given that, we can go ahead and use that information to say that the integral... the integral of of c sine of x must equal 1 right okay so now what the c is a constant now we can just pull the c out so we get the c times the integral of sine of x equals 1 okay and so this is over j, right? So we know that j is this. So in this case, j j equals j equals the do zero and pi, right? So this is where this function is defined over. So this is what so basically this is in this. Okay, so this is going to be integrated between 0 and pi, okay, and we know, and this is fairly straightforward, right? so what is the integral of, of sine of x, okay, so the antiderivative of sine of x, so what, when you derive, do you, what function, when derived, gives you sine of x, right, and that's negative cosine of x, right? So negative cosine of x. Okay? So what you have is this is C times the negative cosine of x C times the negative cosine of x evaluated between 0 and pi, okay? And that's equal to, so, C times, so, negative cosine of pi, 
cosine of pi minus minus cosine of zero. Okay. So cosine of pi is one. So this is c minus sorry, it's minus one. C minus minus one. Minus the cosine of zero is one. Okay. So that's gonna be c times this is one plus one is two. So two c, right? Okay. So this is two c, and we have we know that this whole thing is equal to one, right? So we using by this uh, definition we know that 2c must equal 1 right so I'm just gonna do this so uh, maybe in green so we know this right so based on that we know that 2c equals 1 correct and therefore C equals a half. C equals one half. Okay. Now that we have this value, we can go ahead and find what we are, what we are actually interested in, which is the probability that x takes a value between these two the boundaries, right? So the probability, so the probability that x takes a value between 3 pi over 4 and pi over 4 that's terrible pi over 4 equals c from the integral pi over 4 to 3 pi over 4 of sine of x dx okay and we know that c is one half so this is just one half times the integral of pi over 4 3 pi over 4 sine of x dx and we've done we've already done this integration. We've done the antiderivative of this, right? We just have to uh, evaluate it at different boundaries. So we know that the antiderivative of this is just this this uh, this this function here, right here, right? So this is just going to be one half times minus cosine of x evaluated between pi over 4 and 3 pi over 4 okay and that if you evaluate that just plug so you just plug the numbers in you plug 3 over so what you get is a half times minus cosine of 3 pi over 4 minus the minus cosine of pi over 4 okay and that gives you if you just do the math you get 1.414 over 2 which is also root 2 over 2 and that is the answer so the probability that x takes a value between 3 pi over 4 and pi over 4 is this. Okay?